Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kitty are back with some more Persona 5 Strikers. In the previous video, we just started it off, and we didn't really get too far into it, obviously, but I, I think that's fine. Now we're going to start getting into more of this game, so let us prepare for tomorrow for our big camping trip. Please don't send me to the Velvet Room. Ooh, Ooh boy. <laughs> Flashbacks to Valentine's Day. Boss going... Oh, would I? What? Don't you have plans for Valentine's Day? Boy, well, let me tell you, when I was younger, oh boy! Futaba walks in. Hi, boyfriend! <laughs> Murder in boss's eyes. It's nice to see everyone doing so well. Please don't send me to the velvet room. Chief seemed to be the same as ever too. This place is just as great as I remembered. So, yeah. We're camping in a couple days, huh? Talk about a way to kick off your summer vacation. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, we should get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. Don't turn into a human when I wake. Oh my god! I don't. Was that? I must be beat from all the traveling. I can tell I'm drifting to sleep right away. We're going straight to the velvet room. I can tell. Was that always the case with the bed? It was never really on like a. I mean, I I don't think it was. It was a true bed, but was it always like on those crates? Here we go! God damn it! Wait a minute. Wait a minute! What the hell is going on? Why am I in my prison outfit? This cutscene's a bit different. It's not an anime cutscene. It's like an in-game cutscene. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hi, Lavenza. What's uh, what's that uh, happening? Oh, Igor's not here. That's not good. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What's happening? I know not whether to rejoice or bemoan this reunion. Regardless, I must perform my duty. Where is Igor? This place exists between dream and reality. Mind and, and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. The expression you bear now tells me you already know the reason for your summons. I do? I must warn you of the danger threatening to consume both yourself and the entire world whose heart you strove so greatly to change. Okay. A most loathsome prison has manifested. Your appearance is ironclad evidence of this. Yeah, I can see that. You have become a prisoner of fate yet again. Gotta love it. Can't say I recall that. What do you mean? Even now, plots to lure you into a disastrous fate. Confronted by this evil will, your own cries out. Rise against it. My name is Lavenza. As one who rules over power, Do they not have her my duty is to witness the path you take. Do they not have her name? Oh, no, no, no. The world continue down its Okay, they did. They did. I was like, did they not have her name above it? Face the distortion that yet again threatens your world. You know it. That is the trickster I know. So I mean, we won't have a game if I didn't. What awaits you ahead are more of the same, no, even greater hardships than before. Have you played Dynasty Warriors or Samurai Warriors before? That's kind of the trials you'll be going through. However. You must never forget. I am always by your side. Will I summon Sentinel at some point? Or Raul? Where's Igor, by the way? Le Grimoire. Until then, pleasant dreams. Hey, where's Igor? Or, or is it how it always is with Igor? He never shows up in these side games. It's always the attendants. Granted, he does show up in 
He does show up in Arena, but he only shows up in Arena as the Choose Your Fighter character. As like, hey, choose your fighter. Hey, were you having trouble sleeping last night, Akira? You're tossing and turning like crazy. Anyway, it's time for us to meet up with Ryuji and buy our share of the camping equipment. Let's head over to the Buchiko statue. It's gonna be another sunny day for Japan. The temperature's way up there, too. It'll be especially hot in the central city area, so take caution. Watch out for signs of heat stroke. Well, looks like it's gonna be hot again today. You better hurry and go before M Ryuji melts. Can I not? See, it's pretty bad. Don't forget to drink plain water, all right? Now then. <sighs> I need a menu. I need a menu. Wait, 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 what? Oh, Futaba's just like right outside, okay. Are there so Yo! Hey! Yo! Head to me up with Ryuji? Good luck with the shopping. I know I'd be more help doing it all online, so I'm researching campsites now. I'll make sure we pick the best one. Playing with playing in the river and eating barbecue all day? Playing fireworks to tell you scary stories all night? <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Can't wait in another second. I'm so excited I'm gonna explode. Hit the deck, Akira! Uh, I'm overheating here. I bet Ryuji's not holding up any bear out in front of the Buchiko statue either. Can I check out Takemi? Hey. You can visit Takemi later. She's probably working right now anyway. <laughs> is that always is that the excuse they're always gonna say? Is like they these people are working, you can't visit them. Until it's time for us to like buy shit. Yo, what's up with uh, Poseidon up there on the left, on the right? Shibuya 705. Well, Shibuya's as busy as ever. Look at all the people. Let's get to the Buchiko... Let's get to the Buchiko statue right away. We don't want to leave Ryuji alone with his attention span for too long. Da, da, da. No, we gotta buy the lottery first. Hey, let's leave the lottery for next time. No, I gotta. <laughs> I need money. <sighs> he was waiting for it. He was waiting for his owner, even in the heat like this, huh? Even I can't respect that. What's up? Ready to buy some camping shit? Ready to buy some camping shit? Let's go to the store so we can finally chill for a bit. It's already way too hot out. We're in charge of picking up the barbecue, right? Go ahead and lead the way, Ryuji. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know where it is. Oh, right, we can just ask the app. Hey, uh, Emma? Hello. Do Hello. You something? Yeah, Hello, I'm, uh, I mean Emma. Show us that store you told us about. What are you talking about? Displaying the optimal route to your destination. Whoa, look at this sweet map. We can even figure out how to help with a vague question like that? Oh, this thing's a whole lot more useful than I thought. Great! Let's get this over with so we can plan tomorrow's feast. Sounds good. <laughs> Alice. <laughs> Will you die for me? What's all the racket? I have a suggested event for you. A promotional store opening is currently underway at the Shibuya 705 storefront with Alice Aragi. Huh? What the hell is a suggested event? Wait, for real? Alice is here? Her name is Alice. Alice. I have that persona, Ryuji. Actually, I probably am going to have to remake all my personas. Actually, I am curious. Will we actually do persona fusions? I think so. I think we'll be able to swap Akira's um, personas. Who's Alice? Alice is a Japanese fashion model and performing artist. She oh, okay. She's attention with her adorable look and unique sense of style. She is active in a variety of media and genres. She has become a pop culture tastemaker and continues to amass a devoted young fan base. Wow, Emma makes her sound huge. Is she really all that popular? Oh, I don't know. What kind of answer is that crowd giving you, huh? Alice really is just over there. Oh, I can't <sighs> Could not care less. Dude, you haven't changed at all, have you? 
it's on our way into the store, why not check it out? She's totally cute enough for this to be worth it! Uh, all right. Hey, hey, what's going on? I heard it's some shop opening ceremony. Hey, John Young Bosch. Isn't that Alice? Alice Hiraki! Hi, folks! Thanks for coming! A shop that carries one of my very own brands is opening here today! Have you ever dreamed that you could be somebody else, even if just for a little while? Well, no. I know a place where that dream comes to life. A wonderland where you become whatever you want to be. Now, I've got one question. Does anyone want to visit this wonderland with me? Of course it's a wonderland. Ooh, I like your little pack there, Ryuji. Oh, thanks. Then I have a surprise for you. I'm giving away 100 invitation cards as a special present. They're magical cards. That will make you have an even better time in Wonderland. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, oh my God! Thank you so much. Oh my God. Oh, and one for you. Crap. Alice just touched my hand. Oh, <laughs> those are some quality specs. <laughs> Sorry, that was. I hope you like the star. Thank you. Now let's hand me a card. That's a big dress. You to Wonderland. Wonderland. Have fun there, everyone. <laughs> okay. Jeez, what was with that crowd? I can't believe I saw Alice. She was just as cute as I thought she'd be. Her outfit's weird. <laughs> her outfit's weird. I just don't get it. Her being different what makes her so awesome. Yeah, I can get that. It's all yours. My heart still belongs to Lady Anne alone. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets well, it. Well, are you satisfied now? Let's hurry up with the shopping. Fine, fine. You got one of those cards from Alice, right? Yeah, and you didn't. <laughs> yeah, he did. You just got blown up. I, mean, I probably got the yeah, last one. There were just a ton of people around is all. Huh. This card says Alice Higakure's Wonderland. Of course it's called Wonderland. Keyword. Alice Hiragi's Wonderland? This looks like a boring old ad to me. Hmm? There's some fine print here. Here's my Emma keyword. Please become my friend. What's a keyword? Didn't Futaba use something like that yesterday? She said we could become friends through Emma. Yeah, do it! Come on! Fine. Guess I could add Alice as a friend. Oh boy! So, you input the keyword... Then you become friends with Alice? It's probably just some account not run by her, though. What was it again? Uh, Wonderland? Do I really have to type it up? Keyword successfully added. Okay, never mind. Beginning navigation. Well, then! I was, I was literally about to say, that, oh my god, buff Ryuji. I was about to say, wow, that sounds familiar. That sounds like we're going to the metaverse. Lo and behold! Well, I don't know. Feels like, whoa, what happened to you guys? Not just me. You changed too. Whoa, for real? Huh? Huh? <sighs> Looks like this place is connected to the metaverse. Oh boy. This is a joke, right? Whoa, check it Look, out. Huh? aren't those the guys we saw at 705? Oh boy, Alice is evil! Who could have guessed? You love me, don't you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? Then you can give me all your desires. <laughs> See, I was right! Emma's tied to the metaphor- Ooh, that's not good. 
Emma's tied to the metaverse. Whoa, what the hell was that? There's no time. We'll figure it out later. Joker, Skull, let's fight our way out. Yo! So, Lynn, bless her heart, beautiful. She played this song during the Game Awards, and goddamn, it's so awesome. Hold up! Think again, don't you know what just happened? So, step into my web! Hand up! Ega! I'm rising, not just now. Use your persona! I just did! X while holding R1 persona skills. Here it comes! Hold R1 and move L to aim the enemies, then use skills with X. Activate skills with consume HP or SP. Persona skills have certain affinities, while enemies may have weaknesses to specific affinities. By using attacks that the enemy is weak against, you will deal greater damage and complete the enemy's down gauge. I'm actually quite curious how boss fights are going to work in this game now that I think about it. Let's go. Circle on down enemies all out attacks. While an enemy is knocked down, press circle to initiate all out attack with your teammates. Since they can deal damage to several enemies at once, it's a good idea to use out all out attacks on large groups of enemies. When an enemy down gauge is fully depleted, it will be knocked down. You can deplete an enemy's down gauge by striking its weakness or by laying critical and technical hits. See Most stats ailments can be cleansed with items or recovery skills. Some ailments can also have their effects shortened by rotating L. Party members afflicted with shock will have their movement speed reduced. This can be cured with Amamita drop as well as other items and recovery skills. Enemies afflicted with shock will have their movement speed reduced. Physical and nuclear attacks will trigger a technical hit. Close range attacks from shocked enemies have a chance of spreading, to, uh, spreading the ailments. Fire. Reinforcements. If this keeps up much longer, we'll be done for. We should make good use of our surroundings. See anything that could give you the advantage? You see, that my mind is too fast for us. Circle during on-screen prompt Phantom Dash. Press circle to move swiftly. After Phantom Dash, you will automatically go into hiding. It's triangle while in hiding, special actions. Depending on the situation, press tr uh, triangle while in hiding will perform different actions such as attacking or moving. Uh, L while hiding, switch targets. If you are in hiding, there are more points of and there are more points of Phantom Dash. You can switch between different targets with circle uh, with L. I only have one HP. You'll never see it come, man. Let's go. 
Let's go. Us again. Okay. Yo, this last this rendition of Last Surprise is beautiful. <sighs> okay, that sucked. What in the hell is this place? The metaverse? <sighs> but how? I think this could be Alice's palace. A palace? I thought those were done for though. I mean, we don't even have the meta nav on our phones anymore. Yeah, we do. We have Emma. But I don't think anything else could explain this. You saw Alice on that screen just like I did. No matter how you look at it, that was her shadow. We just happened to wander into Alice's palace using Emma. That would be the most logical explanation. Damn it! Whatever it is doesn't change the fact that we're in deep shit. Mm, we need more intel. Let's investigate the area. If this really is a palace, the distortion has to have a core somewhere. We need to find the treasure. Oh, even getting a faint whiff of it. If we look around, we may be able to learn what's going on too. We'll get a better idea of what to do next, depending on what we find. Sounds good to me. Guess we're doing this. So much for buying a barbecue. Cutscenes are a little like I like these kind of cutscenes. They're a little smooth in a way, but they could ah great. No good. It's an ambush. This ain't fair. Joker. Well, this is familiar. their desires. We have instead brought them to you. <laughs> Couldn't seize their desires? Explain yourselves. Because we have control of, over, of over our you desires. Pretty cool. So, what's your name? Fuck you! Ow! Compared to last year, this is nothing. Ah, so you are Joker, huh? Come now, Joker. You need to answer properly when your queen asks a question. Quit it, asshole! Ugh, would you shut your mouth? Or are you looking for punishment, too? What? Shit! Just try it! Ugh, what a bore. I just stopped caring. Get rid of them, however. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Bye bye. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'll save. Oh boy, that ain't good. This seems very reminiscent of Kamashita's palace in more ways than one. Now that I think about it, it's the three of us again. It's the three of us again. Ryuji and Morgana and myself. Ow. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Uh, uh, hey, you guys okay? Uh, yeah, luckily. Man, that was some real shit. 
Even worse was that effing... So that's what she's really like, huh? Surprise, surprise. How about you, Joker? She really whacked you good. It was nothing. Well, that's good at least. Damn that Alice. Acting like she's top shit. Well, in all honesty. So off until we finally get back at her. So, where are we now? Looks like we're in a trash heap. Say it's some sort of garbage dump. Well, if we just now, exit the metaverse, let's just focus on getting out of here. Then again, I guess we don't really this know how we got here. This is disgusting. Who just dumps people into garbage like that? Let's find a way out as soon as possible. We don't know what we'll run into either. Let's keep an eye on how we're holding up as we press on. Finally, the combat menu. This menu allows you to check the status of party members and adjust equipment along with other things. Hmm. Yo, that's not kind of cool. Oh. Uh, they have no noir there. Oh. Equipment. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Black polo, hip glasses, rebel knife. Yo, if. I wonder if this has a new game plus feature like all the other Persona games do. Yep, okay, I can change my Personas. Hmm. Will I be able to change the Personas of my of other characters kind of similar to Persona Q? Uh, being based off the main character of Mercy LeBlanc's novels, Arsene Lupin. He appears everywhere and is a master of disguise. He's known to help law-abiding citizens. Oh, I saw a fox over there. Hmm. Status. <laughs> so the only person we haven't seen yet is Queen. Oh, I am Futaba. No Queen yet, yet either. Save progress. Tutorial. Okay. Not bad. I hate, I hate that talk is circle. Hmm. I don't know. We should look for an exit. <laughs> God, this place is full of garbage. Where are we anyway? Looks like some sort of container. Is this like a chest? Oh wait, no. It's new character number one. Rebooting Sophia version 1.37. Sorry, neutral work, language okay, motor okay, sensory okay, memory none, memory system analyzing, all systems okay. What would you like me to become? The fuck? Ah, you're cute. I don't think I've heard her voice yet, so that's actually kind of good. Yo, this music! Place. Aw, that's cute. Who are you? Aw. I'm a phantom thief. You are a phantom thief? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. Hi. What are you doing here? Nothing. I exist here because I woke up here. Are you human? Do you have a name? Joker. Okay, I memorized it. Joker? Do you know where this place is? Hey, I just heard something! Uh, I mean, who are you? Who are you? Uh, <gasps> uh, can I help you? Is she gonna have like an infatuation with Morgana because he's a cat? A raccoon? <laughs> try a cat! Wait, I'm not a cat! A raccoon? Anyway, what is this? Got a real funky getup. 
You're telling me. She popped out of a box. What? What? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. I Have love her voice. By that Alice girl too? Hmm. I just learned that I have no memories, so I do not know. <laughs> what? I just learned that I have no Did memories. You... Come here for a second. Who is that Joker? She said she Sophia. Have memories? She came out of a giant box. Yeah, I said that already. What shit is that? Way too weird. She doesn't seem to be a shadow though. She doesn't even seem hostile. She's cute. Well, whatever she is, we still gotta find a way out. Nobody's solving any problems in this dump, that's for sure. In trouble? Whoa! Where did you? Well, gosh, you haven't easily Before seen her. I can help. I am humanity's companion. My purpose is to be helpful to humans. So you remember so that, but you don't remember anything you else. Help us out? Correct. What is your problem? Well, uh, we're lost. I guess we're looking for a way out of here. Is she supposed to be the a humanoid version of Emma then? A way. Will reaching the surface solve your problem of a way out of here? Uh, yeah. It would. Okay, I've got it. I'm searching for a way out of here. Whoa! Hey, don't go out there alone. What now, Joker? We should follow her. Right. I love the new of cuts of like sure Joker there. That. That's kind of cool. Still super suspicious, but I guess we shouldn't ditch her either. Hey, hey, you better watch out for shadows. Oh crap! Too late. Yep. Yeah. Get behind us, Sophia. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. We got through That's that cool. Sophia, right? You heard her anything? No problems here. Why was I attacked? Assaulting others without reason is not proper behavior. Uh, not exactly sure how to explain it, but those guys are called shadows. And we are the phantom thieves. We're considered dangerous rebels by the ruler of this place. Intruders they want to eliminate. The Phantom Thieves. That's really cool. Ah, she's adorable. Anyway, there is a shit ton of shadows around here. If you want to help us, then let's all go together. She can't, she, she somewhat reminds me of a Persona 3 female protagonist uh, in Persona Q2 in a way. How she like hangs out with the fa how she first meets up with the fantasies and she's like oh they're so like how she thinks we're so cool and everything like that that's so cool. I can find a way out of here. You only need to wait for me. And that's another game I need to get back into beating. You're actually going to help us out? I have been helping you this entire time. Joker helped me first. Now I will be helpful for him. Use me as needed, Joker. <laughs> All right, you're weird, but. You're weird. It's your goal, Joker. Let's do this together. Okay. That sounds nice, Joker. Oh, I like her. Cat and the skeleton. Skeleton. I'm not a skeleton. <laughs> Skull short for Skullington now. No, wait. Just because I look like this doesn't make me a cat. He's actually a raccoon. Calm down, Skeleton. He's actually a raccoon. None of those were the good options, okay? Screw it up. And I'm Mona, okay? Don't you forget it. You don't have to yell at her. What has upset you? Don't yell at her. All right. He's Let's be careful. He's we actually a raccoon. Fine, we don't want to endanger Sophia. Try staying out of sight. The upper right corner of the screen displays your current objective, as well as a hint to help you complete that objective. Head above ground. Okay, well, that's that's as subtle as the end as ever, if I've seen one. Third eye! Yeah, baby! Third eye is brick! Come. Persona. 
I wonder if I'll be able to switch between party members at some point. I mean, I think I will. Like, I'll be able to play as, like, Skull, Mona, all of them. What's that? Wait, a shadow. Sneak attack? with us. We should just avoid it if we can. Are you saying that's in your way? Yeah, we can't escape unless we get past here. Okay, I've got it. Huh? Got what? Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, wait up! <laughs> No, you threw us down here to be fair. Well, damn. Huh? Eh? Yo yo's. over I'm in love with this game so fucking much technical hits can be triggered by using the corresponding skills on enemies that are inflicted with stats elements they can deal in they they can deal increased damage as well as depletes down gauge I'm in love with this game. Like, oh my god, like, I'm in love with how we fight in this game. Ooh, Devil Fruit. Okay, we beat them. <laughs> She's adorable! You're so effing strong. You should have told us right away you could fight. But you never asked. Not just that, but your clothes. What in the world? They didn't really change too much. They she just got like a headpiece on. I copied what you do and ended up like this. What a mysterious bot. Looking sharp. Looking cool, Joker. More importantly, uh, are you some kind of persona user? Persona? What's a persona? Yeah, figure this out. Things you were using during the fight. Those boxes flying around. That was a weapon. I needed it to fight. Huh? Sophia, just what in the world are you? I'm human, hey, human companion. Humanity's yeah. companion. Yeah, we already heard that one. There's still just too much we don't know. You think? We don't have the time to figure it out now either. Getting out of here needs to be our number one priority. Yeah, we really don't need her getting any more attention from the enemy. Hey, let's just have her help us out. Considering what we just saw, I don't think we'll have a problem. Agreed. We have no idea what's ahead of us. The more firepower, the better. Can you lend us a hand, Sophia? Okay, I've got it. She's adorable and I love her. Don't push yourself too hard though, okay? Right, I won't push myself too hard. She's adorable. Well, let's move. I love Get her. Away, shorty. Understood. Are we going to give her a code name at some point? Oh, right. Keep track of how you're holding up. You need any healing items? Yes, I already checked out the items, but I will read this tutorial. Using items, press triangle to uh, blah, blah, press options to open the command menu. Consumable items can be used in battle in the item submenu. This can only be done during battles. While exploring the metaverse, you will notice items scattered around. They can be variety from junk that can be sold for money to variable, valuable recovery items. Make sure to pick them items up whenever you see them. Dry phone case, that means it's stuff to sell. Not a shadow inside. Better keep 
keep moving. Wait, I've really? A treasure chest. Let's open it. What's inside, Joker? Hmm. Got like a. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Equipment item. <laughs> yo yo! Uh, adds a breath of life to any outfit. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'll hold on to that for now. That's kind of whether they do a shoot like that. I'm coming for you. Pythos. Not Dia? Question mark. Cow? Question mark. Raccoonda? Question mark. A set of mysterious objects Sophia uses them about to mimic the power of Persona users. Though they function similar to personas, their inner workings are completely unknown. Its name is derived from the Greek word for jar. Okay. I want okay, I'm actually quite curious if these like if these will eventually become a persona. <laughs> I love that it's called cow? Question mark? Raccoonda? Question mark? I love that they're called the question marks. I love it. Check anything suspiciously. Huh. Never know what you might find. Huh. I love it. This game is incredible. I'm already in love with it. Goddamn, guys. Pack it in. There's going to be no other games coming out this year that's going to be better than Persona 5 uh, Strikers. HP incense. Sweet. Hold on to that for a while. Huh. Nothing up there. Nothing there. Well, that's kind of a letdown that only one of them had an item. Uh, R1 while holding L1 fire gun. While aiming your gun by holding L1, you can fire it with R1. Each type of gun has its own ammo stock. Take this. I think we just got the new battle song. <laughs> level up! This new skill suits me. After battle, a persona may level up. Their stats will increase and they may be and they may potentially learn a new skill. Some skills activate automatically and do not need to be activated by holding R1 and pressing X. can also use skills. When a skill name appears above an enemy, it means they are preparing to use that skill. Use situational awareness to avoid enemy attacks and get on the defensive. Party members inflicted with burn will temporarily take damage over time. This can be cured with Amarita drops as well as other items and recovery skills. And inflicted with, uh, with burn uh, will temporarily take damage over time. Wind and nuclear attacks will trigger technical hits. Now. It's 
Support from teammates. Teammates who are fighting alongside you may support you by using and cover your buff skills. Do I dodge? Oh, I'm at level two. Well, our Zen's at level one still. Okay. Right, right, right. Persona. Well, me. Hey, Joker. Think you could find your way up there? Well, me and my personas have different levels, so I'm gonna assume I will be able to switch out personas at some point. But I wonder if party members will as well. Charging headfirst into battle whenever possible. No, we don't. Let's try those stairs for now. Uh, I'm sensing something nearby. Like a treasure chest? Oh, a safe room? See that hanging there, Joker? Thinking what I'm thinking? Bash to it. Yeah, question mark? Ah, she's adorable. There. If we climb there, we can proceed. Welcome to the Alice Wonderland. No, you don't. They just don't quit. Let's take him down, Joker. Two is dodge. Is this guy? Oh, no, no, my. Oh! Looks like that power you've got is alive and well. The enemy became a mask? Explain this. Explain this. The shadows form and power into a mask, turning it into a persona. Oh, interesting. Oh! Interesting. When a fiend shadows that have shown their true forms, a mask may appear. By picking up the mask or by completing the battle, you will obtain a new persona. So, <clears throat> okay, it doesn't look like my party members can change their personas. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 
It probably follows the same patterns as like, I can't equip them until I'm at a high enough level. All right, time for us to do Showtime next time we run into enemies. I am in love with this game. I am in love with this game. Enemy ahead. Joker, try that persona you just got. But I have Showtime ready. Uh, while holding R1, Persona change Joker's in infinite potential allows him to carry multiple personas. He can change these via persona change. Switching personas also switch the skills you can use and change some special attacks that you can perform. Observe your enemies and choose the persona that is most suited to your current battle. Joker's currently equipped persona will also affect his stats and affinities. When you become comfortable with switching personas, keep a mental note of what personas you have equipped. Showtime! Pixie! Pixie! Show's over. Let's focus on the big now. Lock on. When you want to prioritize a specific enemy to attack, press R3 to lock on. Battles will go more smoothly if you focus on enemies with problematic skills or wide range attacks first. Circle during on screen prompt once more. Foes with larger down gauges will, can be knocked down right away. Break a shield icon to create an opening, then press circle during the prompt to attack again. Oh shit! I was not watching my health! Let's retry that. Command and other options can be changed while editing the party. Open command menu. Nah, I'm good. Enemy ahead. Joker, try that persona you just got. Come, Pixie. You're mine. I think I'll save the showtime a little bit later. Ah, oh, fuck. Showtime. But well, my guess is this is how boss fights are gonna work. Oh, did I just get Pyro Jack? Ow. Okay. This one. Let's go. Grab it, Seth. Master Arts. Each character has their own unique set of skills known as Master Arts. By using that character, they will gradually learn these abilities. 
As a character to learn Matt's arts, their capabilities in battles will expand. Check each character's details under stats for more information. Perform a follow up after a triangle or mid air gun attack. Yeah, I better get ready to get the fuck out of the way. Bam. Gun. I did get jack o' lantern. But but I don't get them until after the fight. Down out of combat in the metaverse, auto recovery. When your party members have lost HP, press down to activate auto recovery. Auto recovery makes use of your party's healing skills to initiate restore HP to all party members. Be aware that appropriate amount of SP will still be consumed. Is very low. This could be dangerous. No enemies nearby. Let's go on ahead. Hang on. It looks like this is the exit. Oh, hell yes. Let's get our asses out of here. This leads further inward. Should we investigate? Nah. We should focus on our escape. What, this thing? Nah, we gotta focus on our escape for now. Then... Once we get out. Oh, we finally made it out. This is still the metaverse, though. Stay on guard. Please wait. What is it, Sophia? Find something? Uh... I have found it. A way out of here is nearby. For real? Wait, how'd you figure that out? Add it to the counter. Knew it. Like, pew. 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 I love her. Seriously? I love her. The exit is close. Follow me. Hey, Naruto wait, run! Sophia! What is her deal? Oh, I don't know, but we need to move it. Move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Is this the way out you mentioned, Sophia? Yes, this is what I had detected previously. Oh, that's the way out of the metaverse? Uh, and it is? It is a way out! It's fine, it leads outside. Leads outside? Everything will get all for a moment, but then you'll be out of here. What the hell kind of explanation is that? Please tell me that the voice actress for Sophia made those sounds effects. Because that is goddamn adorable. Trust me, Joker. I trust you. All right. I'm glad you're willing to trust me. Of course. I love so you. Got one option here. Huh? Ain't you coming too? I am. What should I do? Let's all go back together. Joker's got the right idea, Sophia. This place is crawling with shadows. Staying here would only end badly for you. But... But... Jeez, what's it gonna take? What? What are you doing? <laughs> we don't leave folks behind to die. Just get in the damn portal with us. Get in the damn portal with us. So you want me to come with you? Uh, okay. Well, here goes. One, two. Upside down Mickey Mouse. All right, Sophia, how are you coming into the real world with us? Uh, this is the real world. Right. Oh, it's night time. We didn't buy a barbecue. Looks like we're back, all right. Hmm? You have successfully returned from the jail. Welcome back. Oh. Jail? Hey, 
Hang on. Sophia! Where'd she go? I don't think I'm seeing her. Hey, Shorty! Get your ass over here! Don't yell that in public, idiot! Need something? Was that Sophia's voice? Huh. Where is she? She's in my phone. I'm in front of you. Inside Joker's phone. Yeah, my phone is acting weird. Oh my god, look how adorable she is. The floating head. Yo. Yo. Whoa, she just popped up. Oh, did you change your outfits? Is that really you, Sophia? Yep, I'm really me. But who are you? I'm still Mona. I just look like a cat in this world. Mona? You're Mona? I love so her face. You really weren't a raccoon. Aw, she's so disappointed. Wait, why are you on his phone now? Why am I? Because I am an AI. An AI? A uh, uh that's that smart thing, right? Futaba. It's literally two uh, it's she's literally two letters, Ryuji. For real? Add to the counter. Was that the third one for now? Well, I'm glad you're safe. I have your phone to thank for that. I was thrown into endless light. When I tracked down Joker's scent, I ended up here. My scent? scent? Who are you, Morgana? So since she's an AI, she turned into data when she came to this world. That mean you're living in his phone? It is somewhat small, but it's cozy and has everything I need. Care to join me? <laughs> I, I, I don't even have the internet. Anyway, it's about so quiet. I can barely hear that. Out of there safely. Hey, but what, what about all those other people we saw in there? Are they still, you know? I don't know. But I seriously doubt normal folks would be able to fight against that. Yeah. I'm worried about them. Me too, but. We need a barbecue. We charge in without a plan? We're just going to wind up captured too. A new part of the metaverse has its own version of a palace that we access through Emma. It even has a ruler shadow. Odds are that something horrible is happening right now. You think? Let's head back to LeBlanc. You're right. We don't have a barbecue. Good. Let's get to LeBlanc. We'll hammer out our course of action with everyone there. And what about her? It appears I cannot exit this phone. When I came to this world, I connected to the internet and learned a great many things. Oh no. But my memory is still erased. I also found no means of data recovery. Furthermore, I am stuck here. What should I do next? You're coming with us. That sounds good. Also, introducing Sophia to everyone else will probably make the explanation easier. I uh, wonder how that's gonna go over. Especially when they hear all the palace type shit. There are more phantom thieves? Yeah, we got ourselves a whole gang. One of them will probably flip her wig over you too. Futaba. Okay. But why is she wearing a wig? That sounds pretty fun. Sup? So this I is why we don't have a barbecue. You're saying you entered the metaverse with Alice Hiragi's invitation and met a sentient AI named Sophia, who is now in your phone. Why does it sound like you don't believe way, us? You make it sound crazy. But I'm telling you, it's the truth. Why does it sound like... Why, why does it sound like you don't believe us? Why? You have no reason not to believe us. Gotta believe us. See? Even he says so. We understand. None of us would make up something like this. However, there's a chance this Sophia may know more than we do about this situation. She's still with you, right? Could we speak with her? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything Sophia can add that could help us figure out what's happening. Could you come join us, Sophia? Bleep. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Yo, Phantom Thieves! <laughs> What is that? I am Sophia, humanity's companion. That's really Sophia? Wow, 
Yeah. I can't believe this is happening. Tell is me. Is this some sort of hideout? There seem to be a number of phantom thieves present. <laughs> She's Was she singing along to the music? What in heaven? Such an adorable design. You can feel the charm, the pain, the tenacity within. Wait, what? Wait, what? So, yeah, this is Sophia. Nice meeting you. Okay, an AI with genuine will is just the way too advanced. Right? We couldn't believe it either. Care to introduce ourselves? Uh, that's right, we're meeting for the first time. Nice to meet you, Sophia. I'm Makoto Nijima. My name's Haru Okumura. We're both college students, but I also help out with my family's company. I'm on to Kamaki. I'm a third year in high school, and I do some modeling too. My name is Yusuke Kitaka. You know, hold on. I continuously strive to master the arts as we know them. This is actually technically the first. Well, oh, hold on. Well, I'm trying to remember what grade the Persona One. Persona 2 and Persona 2 2 protagonists were in their grades. I think Takuya, who is Persona 2, um, Innocent Sin? Yeah, Innocent Sin was the first one, then Eternal Punishment was the second one. I think Takuya was a second year. And I think Mia, who was the main protagonist of Persona 2 2 Eternal Punishment, I think she's technically an adult because i was about to say this is the first time we ever play some technically this is technically the first time we actually play as a protagonist that is older than a second year but now that i think about it i could be mistaken in that <laughs> so uh, i'm next huh i'm futaba sakura and i kind of suck at socializing but, but i want to be friends and stuff uh, and stuff great, futaba. in fact i bet you and sofio get along real awesome Makoto, Haru, An, Yusuke, and Futaba. I'll remember that. You all have much more normal names than Joker. Ooh, right. We skipped that part. Uh, so, we're the Phantom Thieves, but... We call each other by code names in the metaverse, so our enemies won't discover our real identity. Which I'm pretty sure is kind of code bullshit. Names. My name's actually Ryuji Sakamoto, the cat's Morgana, and he's... Okay, I'll remember that. Um, so you really are a computer program? Correct. Would All you right. like to see my source code? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Tell me. <laughs> that sounds Don't dirty. Watch, okay, you can see it after we get through these questions. First off, why were you in the metaverse? I do not know because my memory is gone. Could you have the AI version of amnesia or something? Isn't that just difficult to recover? Right up memory. Uh, if your data just crashed, I could take a look and try restoring it. It is impossible. I have already tried every potential solution. <laughs> yeah, based on your specs, I guess it's not surprising you already thought of that. Can you recall anything at all? Only the command I received at initialization. You don't sound too sure of that. Be humanity's companion. That was the command I was issued. I remember nothing else. Don't, it's no big biggie. Yeah, don't let it bother you too much, Sophia. I was in the exact same situation when I first met these guys. Thank you. I've still got a shit ton of questions about Sophia, but we have some real work to do first. Right, the metaverse, and what we saw. From what you saw, that means Alice Hiragi has a palace in Shibuya, right? Yeah, she was calling yeah. herself the queen, being She's all kind of high a and mighty, ordering shadows around. All that kind of shit. There's no doubt that was the cognitive world, but something about it was awfully different from the palaces. Well, it's called the what jail. Real humans were being attacked by shadows. There were people inside the palace? You mean they had access to the metaverse navigator? But that disappeared for all of us. I know, right? That's where this comes in. You mean Emma? Yep, 
For some reason, this thing worked just like the MetaNav did. We accidentally entered Alice's Emma keyword and got sent to the Metaverse. Wait, that means Emma is dangerous. But you can just uninstall it. The MetaNav didn't work. Ha 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 I'm sure you can. When we got back to this world, Emma said we returned from the jail. Jail? The only thing we figured out is that this new place is called a jail. So, could you guys check out the palace or jail or whatever with us? The funny thing is, um, before this came out was they spelled jail like they did like in old Britain. I think it was like G, like the G O A L or however you, G O I A L or whatever it was, how you spelled jail back then. Like that's weird, but obviously they spell it like this. So because we're dumb Americans. I'm also having a hard time buying Alice as the ruler of a palace. Are we going to scout it out together? I think the sooner the better. Is it even safe for us to enter though? What if we all just end up captured? There were no enemies in the vicinity of the exit. It's fine to enter through there. Well, are we going to head back to that place tomorrow? Well, we should check it out. Right, we've got our mission. Very well. I look forward to seeing this jail. Let's say we meet at the connecting bridge in Shibuya. But first... I get to see Sophia's code. You promised, remember? Oh, this yes, is be the yes. info dump of a lifetime. I promise, you won't feel a thing. <laughs> Are you confident this is wise? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, at least we know she's got computer skills. <sighs> Man, this is what happens when we get back together. Oh, talk about an ass-busting summer vacation. <sighs> Huh? And what is it? What about our life-changing Kyoto excursion? Our barbecue extravaganza? Our barbecue extravaganza. extravaganza? You mean our camping trip? It looks like we'll just have to postpone it. Damned Venevers. I vow to slice you to Damn the Venevers. You can't slice the metaverse, dude. Just save it for the shadows. Man, could the day have been any more drama packed? We really ought to have we type a poke around in Sophia once we have time for it. Check tutorials. You can check tutorials you have seen before and other related information by opening the command menu, navigating to the system, submenu, then selecting tutorial. Whew! This was a long part. I'm definitely probably gonna end up splitting this. Um how? I don't know. I'll find a way. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below if you guys like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know what you guys think of Sophia. I think she's adorable and will make for a nice, um, a nice addition to the Phantom Thieves. I am in love with her. Are you done thinking about what happened today? I'm thinking if I was waiting on you. Um, and I, I'm loving it. I'm loving this game a lot. Um, do we have, nope, it's still just the four of us. I'm pretty sure we'll probably get everyone unlocked, but I wonder how that's going to work. Like, is it gonna basically... Are we basically having everyone at the start? Which would be kind of cool. But I, I probably just have to add, like, okay, who are the three other characters? Who, or even I could have Joker out. Who knows? But we'll see. But anyway, guys, I'm excited to check out more of this game. So thank you again for watching. Uh, so, yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That is in the description below. So as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RG, Kim, Kim, Twitter are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. I'll see you all next time.